How's it going, Rednecks? We're here at Shop PN, and I'm uh, working on the Oldsmobile here. And as you can see, I got something special for it. That's right, I went out and got a moon visor for it. Unfortunately, half the lenses were destroyed. Here's a picture. I think it was like three or four of the lenses were kind of broke up. The wiring was all hacked and what was left of the wiring. So, my alternative solution is right here. These are some uh, LED lights I bought on Amazon. They are clear, and then when you light them up, the uh, LEDs light up yellow. So, I'm going to take you over to the visor and show you what it's going to take to uh, install these little guys. All right, right next, I already have one installed, and as you can see, it looks pretty good in there. It sits nice and flush, and without a lens, I think it'll look pretty good. What it entails to get in is taking this hole right here, and taking a 5 8 drill bit, and drilling that guy out. And then, on the LED, it has little nubs on the top. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but I need to grind the two nubs off of each side with my uh, Dremel tool over there. And once I got all that done, these things will be able to pop in. We'll be able to wire this thing up and see what it looks like. And I'm excited to see what it's going to look like on the car. So, what do you say we get these things drilled out, get these things cleaned up, get it all installed, wired together, and at least see what it looks like. All right, right next with the uh, lights all wired in. What do you say we put it up top here, see what it looks like setting on the car, and then we wire them in and see what they look like. Pretty excited. Man oh man guys, them things are freaking bright, but it looks good up there. And it's gonna look even better when I turn on my uh, headlights and we shut the lights of the shop off. Well, what'd you think of that, Rednecks? That looked pretty good in the dark. Um, it's getting pretty late. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night right now on a uh, Friday night. So we're gonna wrap up for today. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. We'll get that thing wired up and bolted down. So see you then. All right, Rednecks, it's the uh, next day and uh, we got the car in here. I'm gonna get the visor put on top and try and get that thing centered and bolted in. And we have to drill a hole for the wiring. We gotta try and find our uh, headlight on or power on with the headlights or running lights inside the car. Feed our wire down and splice into that. So let's get that visor up there. Watching it end again and again. I feel it in ways you follow me. Drift into places I should leave. So close to the edge of something so perfect. Well, there we go, Rednecks. That thing fits pretty good. That is off a Ford Ranger for anybody wondering. I'm not quite sure of the year. I think it was like the 96 or whatever, the kind of smoother body style, not the square body style, but I'm going to get that thing bolted down. I'm going to run a few screws just so I know where its placement is, and then I'm going to remove it and drill a hole for my uh, wire. So yeah, let's get to uh, drilling holes in the roof of my car. I'm not happy about this, but it has to happen. Well, right next, 
guess what's done is done. I now have six holes in my roof and I need to make two more. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see, but way down inside of there, oh yeah, you can see there's quite the gap right there. I need to fill that gap with something so I can secure two more bolts to the front. But before I do that, I wanna pull this thing down and get my wiring ran and make sure I can get that down through the uh, interior. I've already removed a bunch of interior panels. You can see them kind of laying inside there. Um, those all came off right here. So I got this pillar all cleared out. So I just need to find a way to drill a hole through here. Get my wires down there. And somewhere around there, I'm gonna find power, I have a feeling. So yeah, let's get this thing off, get to drilling my hole, siliconing everything, and then uh, yeah, finding my power. Redmix, after routing the wire down the uh, pillar to the under dash area here, I finally found a wire that goes to my steering column that is light on power. And uh, I got it uh, tapped in right now, if you see, this is the uh, plug end. And I got this uh, grounded right here to my door. And if you watch, boom, they come on with a light switch. So now I need to take crimps. I'm gonna cut that wire and uh, crimp my new wire into it. And then I'm gonna find a ground over here. There's gotta be a ground wire, usually underneath the dash on the passenger side or on the uh, driver's side, doesn't matter. There's usually a ground bolt that you can tap into. So I'm gonna put an eyelet on this wire right here, use the original ground on this car, and we should have a working uh, moon visor. That's kind of a bummer. I was uh, putting the visor on, siliconing it all up and putting it on, and the uh, memory card, of course, filled up, so the camera shut off. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see me install the whole thing, but it is completely wired in. It is all sealed up and installed, and this is the sealer I ended up using. I love this stuff. This is what I used on the uh, turtle to seal up the topper, and if you can see inside of there, I have a nut and a washer stacked, and that's what's filling this gap in right here that was uh, present before, so. All in all, this thing looks sick. I'll get a shot of this thing outside, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and get back to work.